pretty much everybody knows what you mean when you say a David versus Goliath matchup. Goliath, the big, strong person or the big, strong team, and David, the, the seeming weakling, the one who stands no chance against mighty Goliath. And usually, even sometimes when Christians talk about David versus Goliath and the story in the Bible, the account, the true account, I should say, we can take away the meaning as being, well, be like David, be full of courage, because David had so much courage that he could go up against Goliath. Have courage like David, and you can face your Goliaths, and you can defeat them in your life too. But we're going to see, that's not really the point. The point is not be like David, have courage like David. No, the point is to see where David's courage came from. That's what David himself is even going to say here in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Listen to that as I read the biblical true account of David versus Goliath. And one more piece of background before we start. Goliath was a Philistine. Philistines were enemies of Israel. He had been calling out to the Israelites for 40 days, hey, one of your people come fight me. And they were going to have a mano y mano battle where winner take all, the losers, their whole army surrenders to the other one. And that's where we step in to the story. And David is going to offer to go one-on-one -on -one with Goliath. Here we go. 1 Samuel 17, starting with verse 32. David said to Saul, that's the king of Israel, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine, Goliath. Your servant will go and fight him, your servant being David. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant has been keeping his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock, I went after it, struck it, and rescued the sheep from its mouth. When it turned on me, I seized it by its hair, struck it, and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, because he has defied the armies of the living God. Listen to this part. The Lord, who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own tunic. He put a coat of armor on him and a bronze helmet on his head. David fastened on his sword over the tunic and tried walking around because he was not used to them. I cannot go in these, he said to Saul, because I am not used to them. So he took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, put them in the pouch of his shepherd's bag, and, with his sling in his hand, approached the Philistine. Meanwhile, the Philistine, with his shield-bearer in front of him, kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was little more than a boy, glowing with health and handsome, and he despised him. He said to David, Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said. I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David said to the Philistine, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. David ran and stood over him. He took hold of the Philistine's sword and drew it from the sheath. After he killed him, he cut off his head with the sword. This is God's word. 